So I get to the store, open it. Damn, the smell. Ugh. See, somebody had just ran the ultimate prank. See, the kids are just smeared. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> all over the walls, took a pair of shoes, pooped over it, and inserted them into the toilet. This video has been brought to you by Established Title. By far the most unique sponsor your boy has ever received. Established Title is a project in Scotland that follows an old historic custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. In essence, Established Titles allows you to purchase a small land in Scotland from at least one square foot dedicated to a unique plot number. And then you can officially call yourself a lord or a lady. That's right, for every plot of land that's sold, they plant a tree or help combat deforestation in Scotland and protect the exquisite landscapes. There's packs for lordship, ladyship, couple specs, and you can even get the whole family in with the family title pack. And no worries, my guy, I'm talking an official title of ladyship or lordship. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities. One tree planted in trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. So do your boy a favor and click the link below and check out established titles to help plant some trees and the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot so we can build our timeless kingdom high school bathrooms mm, the one place where <laughs> goes down now what makes the bathrooms different is there's no cameras meaning that's the one place where kids can be kids with no repercussions now for every school bathroom three things are guaranteed first vandalism aka graffiti usually written in the form of slurs which of course we can't really talk about come on guys this is youtube second the smell Ugh. you know the mixture of piss doodle stinky floors whatever that's supposed to be and of course the herb and third the fights now i'm no mathematician but i'm betting at least 55 percent of school fights take place in the bathroom usually informal bullying and that my god is where this story begins so for this story i'm gonna take you back back to my high school bathroom years she was fall semester my sophomore year in high school now at the time my school was known for pranks and nothing hits harder than a bathroom prank Ugh, practical jokes can go a little bit too far first we had the soap dispenser in which as a rule i always check before using but i feel down to the soap dispenser that's right my guy see kids who take out the soap dispenser fill it with piss and put it back for the next person to use it next thing you know you use the bathroom get to the sink start washing your hands and damn what the now you got someone's dna all over your palm <laughs> then we have the no privacy rule ah that feels so good <laughs> what's so funny hey yo everybody Tim's got a little next we have the peanut butter prank hey can you hand me a tissue paper Run over. So as a rule, all pranking was forbidden in school campus, consequences being an automatic after school detention. So one day your boy was getting ready for third period. Now as usual, we had a five minute time limit to get to the next class. That meant getting to the locker, getting your books, getting to the closest bathroom, using it, and finding your way to the next period. Now if your class was located in a different building, oh you screwed. That's a tardy, and three tardies equal ISS. Now on this particular day, I needed to use the bathroom, but my third period class was located on a different building. Damn, Tom, you gonna be late today, kid. So I closed my locker and started rushing to the bathroom. So I finally get there, get inside. Damn, the smell in here. Now we're talking about teenage kids, fam. So the bathroom had a little bit of that natural smell. You know, that Jamaican ganja. Made your eyes a little tingle. Oh, look what we got here. You, you wanna hit this kid? Um, no, I'm good. It's gonna make you feel good. I think I'm already feeling it. So I get to the store, open it. Damn, the smell. Well, uh, see somebody had just ran the ultimate prank. See the kids are just smeared, <laughs> literally <laughs> all over the walls, took a pair of shoes, pooped over it and inserted them into the toilet and then flushed, thereby clogging the toilet. Damn, I can't even use the bathroom. So I closed the door and decided to use the downstairs bathroom. But right before leaving, Mr. Johnson walked into the bathroom. What is that smell? Is someone smoking in here? Everybody, out the bathroom. So we all line up against the wall. Okay, boys, now I need to know which one of you was smoking. Now we have a problem. First, all the kids smell like smoke since the whole bathroom was covered with the scent. Okay, so no one wants to speak. How about you, Mr. Tim? Did you see anybody smoking? No, sir. Really? Hey, old Tim, how you gonna get out of this? Now, while Mr. Johnson was speaking, he suddenly noticed the water coming out the bathroom. So he gets inside, opens the door, and finds the prank. Who did this? Oh, shh. 
Now we got two problems, an illegal substance and vandalism. Violation, subject to suspension or expulsion. So my guy, I'm gonna ask you one more time. What would you do? Snitch on the homies or take both charges? Damn, Tim, think you gotta find a way to get out of this without losing your reputation. And then it hit me. Wait a minute, if no one talks, everyone's gonna get penalized for both charges. Now if there's one thing my pops didn't play is getting expelled from school. So I made my decision. Mr. Johnson, I admit it, I clogged the bathroom. Oh really? Yes, see I tried flushing the toilet and it just clogged. See I knew if I took at least one charge, then I'd be off the hook for smoking. Which of course was the bigger charge. Okay Mr. Tim, you do know the consequences of your action. Yes sir. You have after school detention for a week. Yes, sir. So as I'm about to leave? Oh, no, 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 son. You're not getting off that easy. There's more? Oh, you think I'm going to clean that mess for you? Oh, sh that's right. You're going to get on your knees and scrub that toilet until it's spotless. So clean, you can lick your tongue with it. Now, it's one thing getting a detention, but having to clean someone. <laughs> oh, hell no. Mr. Johnson? Yes. That did it. That's right, my guy. Your boy wasn't cleaning anybody's shit. Mm -hmm. So, moral of the story, never set yourself on fire to keep others warm. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. First thing first, don't forget to check out Established Titles, the sponsor of this vid. Link is under the video. And as always, thanks for helping your boy pay those bills. Now, let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to the fam Ice King. What's up, my guy? I see my man's a YouTube creator too. Okay, dog. Well, can't we show the homie some love on IG as Ice King underscore MHJ333 and on YouTube as JSNX. Keep doing your thing, bro. Second shout out goes to the kid, Lil Star. What's up, my J? I see we got a rapper in the building. Well, let's show the young homie some love on IG as Lil Star underscore and on YouTube as Lil Star, I see you dog. Well, keep shining, young star. And last shout out goes to my man's Clifton Lanier. What's up, bro? My man's is out here doing his thing on IG as C Chislet and putting it down on YouTube as C Chisel. Ooh, keep doing your thing, fam. And of course, keep grinding. If you want a chance to win a shout out, subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG, and send me that screenshot. As always, live timeless.